the Fortnite Cup is the equivalent of the FedEx Cup up in Canada. I have some friends here, some young guys that play the Canadian Tour that play here at my uh, home course here at Champions. They talk about a guy that won that cup last year named Will (laughs) Bateman. Now, I haven't seen Will Bateman swing, Diane, but when I know these young guys that I play with over here and they've talked about a Will Bateman, are you excusing me here? 600 to one? And if you say, Elk, you're an idiot, you're a nut, you don't know anything. Russell Knox, who is ranked 18th in greens in regs, not too good in putting, 150th, he's 600 to one this week. So if you were going to bet on someone this week, Diane, you have inside information. I have inside information. Where are you putting your $5 bet against me this week? Your brother or Will Bateman? Oh, well, there's only one answer I can give, isn't there? Like, what else can I say? Um, Yeah. 600 to 1 for Russell. Gosh, it's it's tough. I'm just going to say quickly, Did I, I know that you saw it because I saw you comment on it on Twitter, but Billy Horschel um, last week had a, what did he shoot, an 84 in the opening round at Memorial. He spoke to the media afterwards. He cried and talked about how difficult it was right now and how much he was struggling with his game and it just, it wasn't there. And that to me, maybe it hit home a little bit more because I know the struggles that my brother's going through right now, but oh my gosh, it just shows like, there's so many guys playing on the PGA Tour right now, you know, the highs are so high and there's money everywhere and people are talking about you. The lows are really, really tough. And there's a lot of them that are there. Yeah, it's got to be technical with Billy because I listened to his interview and when I see a guy cry about playing bad, I don't. it doesn't bother me. I mean, I've seen so many tears in the locker room, Diane. Uh, you wouldn't You wouldn't even, I can't even begin to tell you and probably some of them have been mine. Um, it's just the way it is. It just means a lot to these players, their games and their livelihood and they don't like playing bad. And when someone sticks a microphone in you and you're already amped up, think about, you know, think about being at the hospital and you just had a baby and then you walked outside and someone stuck a microphone. Well, that's that's where your emotional level is when you come off the golf course sometimes. Uh, you know, I used to have a rule with my family. I'm staying in the locker room for 30 minutes uh, after just to cool down, good or bad, you know. Uh, so, you know, Billy Horschel's a great player. He can't get the ball started where he wants to. So that tells me it's mechanics and that tells me he can fix that. So... That's where I'm at with Billy, and I think I said as much on on Twitter. I'm just going to go back to Will Bateman very quickly, your 600-1 to pick. Um, Between 2016 and 2021, he had one top 10 finish in 32 career starts um, on the Canadian PGA Tour. And then in 2022, he won twice. He was the Fortinet Cup champion and PGA Tour Canada Player of the Year. And then this year, he's playing Corn Ferry Tour. Um, This was actually in February, this thing that I'm reading. So I don't know what he's done since then. But he's had two top five finishes in his first three Corn Ferry Tour starts. So I listen to the the young guys that, that they know. 